friends, glad you're here checking us out on Upstreet Online. I'm Jeff, and today we're gonna to be talking about our friends. And God has some pretty cool truths to tell us when it comes to our friends. And since he kind of knows it all, I'm thinking we probably better pay attention to what he says about it. And I'll fill you in right after this new That Show. Welcome, laddie, to another episode. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Welcome to another episode of That Show. Guys, today we are gonna try some food combos. Y'all know how much we love food here at that show. But a lot of friends be like, yo, Caleb, Caleb, trust me, trust me. This is good. And I'm like, eh. And they're like, no, 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 no. It's good. I decided to give them the benefit of doubt today. But we're gonna try some um iffy food combos. Iffy feels like the best way to put it. I don't know if y'all can you can see obviously what's on the table. Um we have Mozzarella sticks. Ah! And jam. Oh, I'm a pro at that. Okay, cheers. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Because I always keep it honest on the show. That was good. Um, I don't know why. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I can't why did I say like that? I can't explain to you why that was good. But it was. Let's just keep it going, because we're cruising. We have pickles and ice cream. Now, I'm one of the many weird people on this planet that actually enjoys pickles. Also pickle juice. Disgusting! Anyway. Cheers, laddie. Okay, that's all. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm not even gonna hesitate. That's a five out of five. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna try to explain to you why. It just is. Like, oh, like literally. Ew, dude. So good. The uh, salty and sweet can't be beat. Oh man. This last one, I probably don't even have to explain it to you guys. We have the all familiar Frosty, and we have Wendy's fries. This one, six out of five. Like, if you know, you know. You know? Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into that show this week. As always, stay saucy. Time out. I need a full time out. I don't think I've ever explained that. Here's the meaning of stay saucy. So if you have juice, and you have sauce. How long does sauce last in the fridge? Forever. How long does juice last? Not that long. You can have the juice, it just doesn't last. The sauce, eternal. So stay saucy this week. And love on somebody. I'll catch you on the next video of that show. Peace! Wisdom, knowing what to do when the choice is up to you. out there have friends, raise your hand. Yeah, I can't see you, but I'm pretty sure a lot, if not all of us, are raising our hands because we all have friends, or at least we all need to have friends. Because friends, they, they just make the world a, a better place, right? Like, they make our lives better. School, the teams we're on, celebrating our birthdays, it's just all better with friends. But friends can also pull you in a lot of directions. Now, not all our friends might wanna do the same thing and that's okay. We can have friends who aren't the same. That's actually a good thing. But friends do influence us, the things we do and, and the choices that we make. And because our friends mean a lot to us, that means the kind of friends we have also mean a lot to God because God loves us and, and he wants what's best for us. And in the Bible, God gives us some wisdom about our friends. Here's what he says. Walk with the wise and become wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. God knows that our friends can help us make wise choices that lead us to make other wise choices, or our friends can influence us to make unwise choices that lead us to make more unwise choices that hurt us in the long run, and that's something God never wants for us. 
God wants us to have wisdom when it comes to our friends. So when God says walk with the wise, he means to hang out with, be friends with, live life with wise friends. Wise friends make us wise and help us become wise. God's telling us here that wise friends make us better. It's true, wise friends are friends who want the same thing for us that God wants. Wise friends can help us make good choices, wise choices that lead to less problems, less hurts, and more good things in our life. But remember, God loves us and, and wants what's best for us. So when he tells us to be careful, it's because a companion of fools suffers harm. Now a companion just means a friend. It's someone you hang out with. And when it says a fool, God's not talking about someone silly. A fool is someone who doesn't make wise choices. They don't understand that their choices affect them and the people around them. When we have friends that don't make wise choices, don't live like God wants us to live, don't want God's best for us, those friendships can end up hurting us. Just like there are friends who help us make good wise choices, there are also friends who can get us into trouble and that's happened to all of us. Like, okay, picture this. You're at school in the lunchroom and this friend you've been sitting with at lunch, he wants to start a food fight. And now you both think that it will be really fun. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. But you both know you're probably gonna get in trouble too. We'll get in trouble, but it'll be so worth it. So you're on the fence, but your friend, he's all in. I am all in, baby. And he's zagging you on, and then suddenly, like, both of you start throwing food, and, and then you forget about the rules, and then, oh man, you got silent lunch, and you lost recess time, and that's some harm. And God doesn't want us to suffer harm. He doesn't want us to be in trouble, so he reminds us to be wise when we're hanging out with friends, because he knows wise friends help us make good, wise choices too. Jeff, come on. I know a food fight would be a lot of fun, but then you're gonna get silent lunch and, and then you're gonna miss recess. Come on, it's not worth it. And wise choices can keep us out of trouble. And there are some kids just like you who know just what I'm talking about. Let's check it out. Hi, my name's Autumn and I am in second grade. My friend's name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth is a good friend because she's funny, sweet, and always includes people. One time at recess, I wanted to only play with Elizabeth, but Olivia wanted to play with us, so Elizabeth said, let's include Olivia to play, and it made recess better. Elizabeth is a good friend because she reminds me to include other friends. Hi, my name is Wyatt. I'm in the fifth grade. My name is Nora, and I'm in the fifth grade. My good friend is Nora. She is a good friend because she is caring and helpful. My best friend is my neighbor Wyatt. He is helpful and he helps me make a wise choice. We have a rule at our house where every time a sitter is there, we're not allowed to go outside and play with friends. But when we had a sitter one day, his friends asked if we wanted to go outside and play with them. My brother Luke wanted to go play because he thought that we could just go and play, and when our parents came home, they wouldn't know. Classic Luke. But we had to remind him that we're not allowed to when we have a sitter. Eventually, we convinced him to stay inside, and we still had a great time together. And, and no one got, got in trouble. trouble. That's so cool, right? And some of you probably have your own example about a time when a certain friend encouraged you to make a wise choice, or maybe even kept you out of trouble. Those are the wise friends God's talking about. Those are the types of friends that God wants us to have in our life. And that's the type of friend that God wants us to be for other people. He wants us to be the type of friends that help our friends make good and wise choices. You know, it's important that you're kind to everyone, but your good friends, the people you hang out with the most, they need to be people who will help you make wise choices because your friends are leading you somewhere. And God said they need to be leading you to make wise choices so that you can have a great life. And remember, you need to be a friend that's leading your friends to make wise choices too. So ask yourself, am I being a good friend? Because good friends are important. God knows it and he wants us to know it too. So you know what, let's ask him, let's, let's pray right now and ask God to help us make wise choices. God, 
Help us to be wise with our friends. Help us to choose the kind of friends that are gonna lead us to wise choices. And help us to be those type of friends too that lead our friends to make wise choices. God, just help us to know the right thing to do and the courage to do it. We love you, amen. Truth from God, because he loves you. For the Lord is wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2.6. Learn it, lock it, live it. Now you're